everybody, it's Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the hive here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. <laughs> I always gotta look at the calendar to see what day it is. <laughs> it is officially the day after the 4th of July, which means it's July 5th, woohoo! Shouldn't have needed to look at the calendar for that one, but <laughs> sometimes we need a little extra help. <laughs> it's been a busy day here in the hive. Uh, my mom was over and she helped me kit up all of the kits for the Let's Just Stamp class and the July monthly class that are coming up here in the next week or two. Um, Let's Just Stamp is next Monday uh, and the monthly class is the following Thursday. So woohoo, we got that done and got them off to the post office and then we worked on swap cards. And I thought, oh, I better get doing my Tip Tuesday for you guys. And I don't have a lot going on for Tip Tuesday. Hi, Connie from Denmark. Um, I have a fly <laughs> and it snuck its way into the hive and the bees haven't gotten it yet. Hi, Chris. Hi, Linda Hodge. It just got me in the forehead. It was just banged into my forehead. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Sherry Martin. Um, hi, Sandy. Hi, Joanna. So hi, Mo <laughs> and Mitzi. Oh, hi, Denise. Um, so it's going to be buzzing around here. I'll try to ignore it to the best of my ability. Hi, Mary Ellen from California. Hi, Stacey Burns. Hi, Susan. Um, so hi, Millie Kindle. So I thought I better get on here before Tyler gets home. <laughs> hi, Nora. Hi, Amy. Mom just left a little bit ago. And so I thought, ooh, now I'm going to sneak on. Hi, Pamela, Brian. Um, the weekend went great, Linda. Um, you got your happy mail, Amy. Woohoo. And Amy, you have more happy mail going out, uh, for the two classes that you have coming your way. Hi, Robin and Carla Cordes. Oh, so you guys, I was a little bit anxious going into the weekend because of knowing that we were having guests coming that weren't uh, part of the immediate family. Um, but uh, my mom took it really well. So hi, Donna. There were no weddings that happened. Um, so apparently, hi, Pauline. <laughs> um, um, my uh, my mom had made a pra. She said the only way that people can invite people to the wedding is if, uh, referring to my brother, hi, Sue, Mer Sue Somerville, was referring to my brother that he could invite people only if he got married. And he invited people, but I guess his deal was is that he invited people a year ago <laughs> before my mom made that comment. And so he just went with it and it all worked out good. We have extended family that are from North Carolina in Newland and um, the Raleigh area. And the seven people came up from our, we call them our North Carolina family. And so they came up and hi, Holly. And um, it was good. Uh, they rolled in um, sometime later in the week. Hi, Mary. Uh, and so there was no wedding. There wasn't a lot of drama. It was all good. All the kids got along. There were 11 kids running around having fun. They had water balloons. We played a softball game, lots of good food, lots of cooking. Uh, so it went good. My mom and dad had a great time and they said, my dad actually woke up. He, my mom said yesterday morning and said, he wants to do this again next year. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. So it must have been good. <laughs> we had a good time. So if anybody missed it, the live that I had uh, last Thursday, I talked about my mom and dad had their 50th wedding anniversary party on Saturday and my mom's birthday and my brother's birthday was on Wednesday. So there's a lot that rolls in here at the end of June and into early July. So now the focus, my mom said, is on the Summer Creative Escape. She is my chef. So if anybody's attending in person with me, um, my mom does home cooked meals for lunch and for supper. And for those that uh, attend um, virtually, they, uh, they, they don't get food. My mom's not going to sell food, but we, the shipping offsets the cost for the food. So that's how that works. If anybody is interested yet in signing up for the summer creative escape, I think I'm down to nine or eight spots left. I'm planning for 88 and I believe I'm at 79 or 80. So I do have space left in case anybody was still on the fence about it. Uh, I am excited once I get the, the, the attendance gift, it's coming on the 7th, which is Thursday. I'm gonna share again on Thursday, um, probably during the live, the attendance gift and do a little sneak peek on that and show the cards again, just to see if I can get anybody to take the last couple spots that I'm planning for. Hi, Linda and Wendy. So, all right, what do I have for you guys today for Tip Tuesday? I have a very easy tip that Pat's mother shared with me last week, Monday. Um, and it's referring to a tip that I had shared with you guys a long time ago. I can't remember when it was, but it was about scoring your bases 
And um, Stacy, it is for you because you're a Be Happy Stamper. Uh, the Be Happy Stamper price is one fifteen, and that includes the shipping, includes the goodie bag, includes the make and takes. We have nine cards and one 3D project. Um, for non Be Happy Stampers, the price is one twenty five. Uh, there's eight creative presentations, uh, actually nine with me because I'm doing the. 3D project creative presentation. Hi, Lisa. So there's actually nine creative presentations and then eight, uh, nine cards. It's just, it's packed full of stuff. Um, so uh, yes, you are, I would love for you to join Stacy and anybody else for that matter that is interested. Uh, so the tip that Pat shared with me. So uh, if you guys may recall this a while back, we talked about scoring your card bases. Um, hi, Deb Norman from Steamy Iowa. Uh, we talked about scoring our card bases and hi Cheryl Stewart, and how you might end up with one flap hanging longer than the other flap, and um, and that was something I was trying to not have happen, because I want my card, like the, and oh, Chris is interested, awesome, perfect, you guys, I still have space, so um, the sooner that you confirm that, the better, <laughs> um, then, like, it, it would be even on the end. So let me flip down here and show you guys. This is a card that I'm gonna be doing on um, Thursday night, actually, for the memories and more. I am crooked, let's go like that. Okay, uh, memories and more. Hi, Mary Jean, hi, Philly. Um, so memory, uh, so the memories and more, this is one of the cards. And I always like this to be even, so that when you look at it from the back or you look at it from the front, it's even. And so Pat called me last week. I'd never met Pat before, but she's been watching my lives and she remembered me doing a Tip Tuesday on that. And she had just come across somewhere where she found out why like Hallmark or the, the, the store brand cards, they will have the flap be longer in the front than in the back. And so this is something where we thought, ooh, this is a good tip to avoid that. But the tip here today is maybe you just let it be. Maybe it's okay to have it because what happens is then when you go to open it, it's easy to open up because the top is longer than the back and then you can open it up easier. So a horse a piece, you know, you know how the saying goes, like a half a dime a dozen, whatever, one way or versus the other way. So, so, but it's just, it's interesting how they would have done it like that way. And see, I always try to make mine line up nice and it's, you know, if you end up having one be longer than the other one, instead of trying to fix it and make it the same. What we talked about, Pat and I talked on the phone, is like, we'll just make the top one be the little bit longer one. And then you generally don't look at it from the back anyways. So there you go. Uh, so that's the tip for you guys, the official tip for Tip Tuesday. Um, and just as a reminder, uh, this is, hi, Wendy Kruger. This is what we're going to be doing on, uh, what is it, Thursday night? Uh, we have all these cards to put together. And for all the people that signed up for this class, I, with it being the 4th of July yesterday, Tyler told me he would have yelled at me if I brought my computer out. <laughs> I always put it in the back if that happens. Good idea. Yep. Very good, Holly. Um, so for those that are in attendance for the this uh, Memories and More class, Tyler told me I was not, not to really, he was going to yell at me. He's, he was re prepared to yell at me if I, not yell at me, but scold me or tell me to put my computer away. If I worked on work stuff or stamping stuff too much while I was out at my family's for the 50th anniversary party. And so I made the executive decision not to work on it while I was there yesterday. And then today my mom was here at 10 o'clock and we worked straight until 10, 15 minutes ago. And so I have not written the PDF tutorial for the class. Um, that is Thursday night. So be patient with me. Um, as soon as I'm done with the live, I'm going to start working on it. And my goal is to have it out by like maybe nine or 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So uh, just so you know, I haven't forgotten and um, it's on the way. Hi, Deanna Stell. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip down and we're going to go through some swap cards. I have swap cards from the customer swap. Um, they, thanks Holly. <laughs> you know, you always feel, I don't know about you, but I feel a little bit guilty. I'm like, I know I got to get these things done, but I'm also supposed to enjoy some family time. So I, that's what I did. And I know you guys would be okay with that. So, um, I have the customer swap. So not all, so for those of you that are in the cards by Christine customer swap, not all of them are in. Ellen Brovers have been sitting in a, a suburb in Chicago for probably a week. And I keep thinking, 
they're gonna arrive any day. And the minute that I, oh, thanks, Deb. The minute that I send everybody's cards back to you, then they will arrive. Hi, Deb, our blaster. And so I'm still hanging on to all the cards. So if you're in the group, just know that I have them. They're not going anywhere. Um, I'm gonna give her cards with the 4th of July weekend. I just wanna give it maybe till Friday, just to see once if they can get unhosed. Because the minute I start talking about something being delayed, or if you guys ask me for something that is in the mail, it always shows up within a day or two. So I have all the swap cards in for that, except for Ellen's. And then I also have my team swap, you guys. Last Sunday on the 26th, maybe? Oh, yeah, that was over about a week and a half ago already, it seems. <laughs> we did the team swap party for the Be Happy Stampers. So I have those cards to share with you guys as well. And also, I have some butterfly cards that came in from Sandy Carlson from a group that I'm in. And they were a little bit late, so I wanted to share them. So that's what we're going to do is go through some swap cards. Hi, Patricia Pascopio. So let me flip down. And if you guys are wondering what I'm holding on with this, <laughs> this is sitting here because... This is what Kelly is doing for Technique Thursday, um, which is in a couple days. She featured um, the technique on making this fake leathery paper, and she was trying to really show off the cards that are coming up for the Let's Just Stamp. And so this is what Mom and I kitted up today, are these three, card, these three sets of cards that go with the Wildlife Wonder Let's Just Stamp. So if anybody still needs to get signed up for that, I made plenty of extra. Um, and then this one is the other one that we kitted up today the monthly class for July. So just need some flowers, some flowers. And honestly, on this one, you guys, all you need is a sentiment. I think I have 10 left for this one, but this class isn't until somewhere in July, like the 21st, where this one is coming up on Monday the 11th. So that's what we worked on. And this is what you can watch for, for Technique Thursday on Thursday. All right. So let's share with you what I've got here for the customer swap first. And then we'll go over to this pile that's glaring over there. So uh, for the customer swap, uh, some of you may not know, some of you may know, um, it's, there are different rules and requirements. Um, well, the one main, there's two main things. So I'm a promoter of Stampin' Up! product, uh, but that's not what you have to necessarily use on these. It's a customer swap and customers will use whatever they want or have in their arsenal, but there are a few little stipulations. One of them, it has to be a current Stampin' Up! stamp somewhere on the card. Um, it could be a sentiment, it could be a focal image, and then there also has to be um, something else Stampin' Up! related. Designer paper, embellishments, ribbon, and stamping the inside is always a must. And what happens is, this one's from Diane Rangi, what happens is the donation cards. So I give up, as being the host, I give up my cards and they get donated to, we have to figure that out yet. So I have a nice little, little pile of swap cards for probably the last year and a half and we got to start going through them. And the donation card, everybody always puts an envelope with it. So it says another round for your birthday. And she stamped a whole bunch of the mugs of beer on there. So that was Diane's swap card. Um, that is from, he's, um, not he's all that, but it was the well-suited suite from last year, if I'm not mistaken. I liked that paper. All right, this one is from, um, let's see here. Did you see someone use the bottle and put it all rolled up paper inside like it was thrown in the water? Was it graded for those bottles on the cards? I didn't see that, Stacy. I didn't, but that sounds like an awesome idea. All right, this one is from Deborah Butt. I think this is Deborah's first um, official swap with the customer swap. So Deborah did a beautiful card using the sweet songbirds um, bird and then the punch. And she put these little squawkers, the little beakers, these little squawkers coming out of the nest. And when you open it up, uh, it goes like that. You've got something to celebrate and there's a little butterfly on there. So very pretty card, Deborah. Good work on your first swap with us. And then this one, hi, Ann Bellinger. This one comes from Miss Sue Somerville. Wishing you a warm and beachy kind of day. This is from Paradise Palms, which is in the annual catalog. She's got some of the pebbles on here. And then a nice little sun going over the horizon. I hope you find a little paradise wherever you may be. So very pretty card, Sue. This one is from Cindy Bowie, I believe. So we, oh, Cindy always likes to do a different type of a fold. So you can see here what she did is she scored it here. And then she folded it over added some rhinestones. It looks like a collar kind of popped over and then has the birthday wishes peeking out and then a little butterfly. Um, it says, birthday wishes. If things really do get better with age, then you're approaching perfection. <laughs> Very nice. So that's Cindy's. And, hi, Laura Sullivan. 
And then this one comes from Anna Rebidou. So if I am not mistaken, she flipped it over. Interesting. Okay. I, okay. It's, oh, it's a pocket card. That's it. Cool, Anna. I love it. Look at that. So it's a pocket. I was wondering if it opened more, but it doesn't. So this little pineapple, I believe, if, Anna, if you're watching, I'm not sure if you are or not, but I don't remember if that little pineapple was from a paper pumpkin, maybe in the past, a little something to brighten your day. And that he, he's sneaking in there. It's awesome. And then on the other side, she's got wishing you a warm and beachy kind of day. And she went with that paradise palms as well. So cool. Very fun. All right. This one comes from, if, uh, let's see, I think it's Elaine. Elaine Rebeck. If, let's see who this one is. This is Elaine. So now I'm trying to think who had the elephants. Um, <laughs> they use the mystery card layout. Yay. Oh, okay. So if you're watching, you need to give me credit or give us help give credit to you. The little elephant is from Elephant Parade. And then there's little peanuts out down here. Do you guys see those? That's awesome. That goes with the elephant so nicely. And then opal rounds. So it's the mystery card layout. But I'm trying to see when will the online summer creative convention pack be shipped. Diane Alberts, they are always shipped after. And I'll tell you why. I've had a couple people ask me about shipping them early, but what happens is there's so much prep work that goes into it on the front end that to mail them out ahead is, is a lot, just in and of itself. I find that when I do the online, um, when I do the in-person, there's about three things that I generally forget, and so I'm able to add those back in <laughs> before they ship. I also do a raffle. And that raffle, if anybody wins prizes from that, I can stick their prizes in their box. And also, um, the other thing is the raffle and then prizes. Any prizes that people win throughout, I can put them in the box too. And so what happens is the event ends on the 6th, which is a Sunday. And then Monday or Tuesday, basically, they go out in the mail. And the other thing too is my mom always makes a homemade, hi Karen Wettstein, um, my mom always makes a homemade goodie. So in the past she's made cookies and what she'll do is she'll make all the cookies for the in-person ahead of time. And then what she'll do is she'll make a fresh batch or she's making bars maybe this time um, to fit in some of the treat things that you guys that um, uh, there's treat boxes. And so I always like to have a treat in those new boxes so you can see them. And so she makes those fresh on Sunday or Monday, depending on how she feels. And then they'll go out in the mail, probably most likely either Monday the 18th or Tuesday the 19th, but I'm guessing Monday the 18th because we have a date to kit up texture chic and ink paper scissors on the 19th. So I'm guessing Diane, they will get mailed on the 18th. And then what happens is I have a Facebook live scheduled in the group. I believe it's the 25th or the 26th. I do a private class with everybody, I think it's the Monday or the Tuesday, I can't remember, it's during the day, but don't worry because you can always catch the Facebook Live um, replay. And so if the boxes are mailed out on the 18th, most people will have them by the weekend, and then that's just in time for me to do the private Facebook class with you guys that are doing the online version. I'll go through and I make the cards so that you have uh, a video tutorial in addition to the written PDF. So yay! Sue Somerville, you want to sign up? Oh my gosh, yay. I know you had said not this time, but there's still space, Sue. So I know I had Chris and Sue and Stacy uh, that were interested, and I still have spots left. I think I was around eight or nine left, so I still have spots in case anybody else is watching this. Um, I'd love to get you guys signed up. So, all right. So then lastly is Elaine Rebeck's card here, and she made a birthday card. And that's with the Kite Delight is my guess here. I don't actually have Kite Delight, but I'm guessing that's what it is. And then she used the gingham embossing folder in the back. And she put a kite on the inside too. I love it. I'm joining late. I'm going to have to rewind and start from the get-go. Hi, Sue Volts. <laughs> yes. Oh, Diane wants to sign up too. Yay. Okay. So now I have four people. Awesome. So, um, and thinking of that, <laughs> when I have four, that, that calls for maybe potentially here <laughs> writing names down. And then I've got Sue, Chris. Now you guys will have to follow up with me. These are just tentative you, I, people that ask. I don't want to miss you guys, but we'll follow up. Oh, thanks Diane for filling up, filling out the form. Hi, Pat Detlefson. Um, so I have you four, you know, as soon as we get payment done and the form filled out, then you're officially signed up. But I'll tentatively pencil you in for now. All right, so those are what I have for the customer swap. Now I had 
a little bit of lateness on one of the, uh, I do a sweet swap with a bunch of people. Hi, Julie Bierschbach. Um, oh, Stacy, 14 hour drive. Yes, that is a long drive, but you could also potentially do the online version if you want. Oh yeah, Julie's in Florida, I love it. So Stacy, though, 14 hours is a long drive, um, but maybe flying? I don't know. <laughs> I do have some people flying. Um, Dev says you won't be disappointed for signing up. It's so worth it. All right, so these four come from a friend of mine who is a fellow demonstrator, Sandy Carlson, and she had the butterfly suite. I can't remember the full name of the suite. Um, but she had to make four cards featuring that suite of products. And so that's what these cards are coming from. And she went with all the designer paper, so bright and cheerful. Um, all the love. And then these butterflies are die cut on the top here. And very pretty. Got some designer paper in the inside. Um, but I'm saving the, my favorite one for last here. Yes, Julie, I hope you're having a great time down in Florida. Oh, look at this one. This is a, a bit of, this is so glary. Let's do that. Um, this is a bit of a fun fold. Watch, I, I I could see how it's folded here, but watch this. When you open this up, look at that. Isn't that super cool? So this is a 12 inch piece of paper at five and a half, and then it's scored at different spots so that you can layer it like that. I think that is so cool. Oh yeah, I like this. <laughs> this is a great card for a, a fun fold class that I can do coming up. Okay, and this was my favorite one. I love how she did a fake shaker card and then she used some of that metallic mesh and the little sprinkles in here. <clears throat> oh, hi, Melanie Foy. So very cool. So this is a fake shaker card. Um, I know Kelly's done that for, uh, so glad you exist, for... Um, a Technique Thursday in the past, and it's using one of those clear plastic envelopes that these guys, and just folding it behind, and then you put your sprinkles in. So those are some of the, I think it's called Best Butterflies. So that's that. And then I had the team swap party, and there were two different groups that people could be in. You could be in one or both, and you just had to pick your stamp set that you wanted to feature. This one is Bamboo Beauty, and done by Cheryl Taylor. And she <clears throat> went with her. She's got it listed back here. Evening Evergreen Parakeet Party Basic Wipe and Evening Evergreen Parakeet Party in Sweet Sorbet for the ink. And she pulled in some of the in color glimmer paper with uh, the stylus shapes for the square and the circle. And then it opens like this, like a gatefold. So very cool. So, and then she added some iridescent rhinestones to the top and the bottom here. So very pretty card, Cheryl. And then we have Miss Carissa Alberts made the Pure Magic card with her unicorn. She was all over this. <laughs> it screamed Carissa, the stamp set. And you guys are not going to guess. Maybe you will. Once I say it, that'll make sense. You know, this is not designer paper in the background. She actually cut strips of different um, widths of colored cardstock and then glued them on to create that background. A little bit of vellum. She used my one of my favorite tags here, that designer tag. We talked about that Thursday night. And then on the inside, she's got it flying onto the page, which is cool, so that you still have plenty of room to write. Gorgeous grape with, it looks like, pear, uh, granny apple, Bermuda Bay, and melon mambo. Your pure magic, some glossy dots. Hey, Judy Wyant. All right, this one comes from Miss Ann Bellinger. And she used Celebrate Sunflowers, and she colored a really pretty sunflower. We loved the blue behind this. It just popped so nicely. We loved how she put, because uh, we had the party so we could talk about the cards. <laughs> we loved how she looped the, um, the linen thread through her uh, waves dye. Hi, Carol Jefferson. Some champagne rhinestones, and then the background is embossed with the Time Warm Type embossing folder. And then she's got a sunflower on the inside. Very cool. So this one you could even write all the way over this and it wouldn't, it would be okay being over. It wouldn't interrupt your writing at all. Very pretty, Anne. We love it. And then this one comes from um, Mary Bowman, if I'm not mistaken. She had sending um, smiles. She's got her recipe card back. Oh yeah, there it is, Mary Bowman. She did uh, white with Orchid Oasis and then Parakeet Party. Scalloped contour dies here. That's what she did here. It's so crazy. It's like there's a scalloped rectangle and what she did is she cut it into a piece and put that as a scallop trim at the top. And then birthday wishes, the gingham embossing folder in the background. 
And then on the inside, she's got a little baby flower. And um, in color, matte dots are her decoration for um, the um, embellishments. And she put some Stella on there. Hi, Janet Core. All right, this one is Diane Bogenhagen's card. Very cool. <laughs> I love how she wove the espresso, the faux espresso suede trim. She put that through part of it. Like it's under, 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 and then it comes up and goes over. So it's not like back and forth, but it goes under and then comes up. Uh, so she had for the set with vintage tools and she used the deckled rectangles, which is this right here, the rectangles. And she used them in a couple different places. Um, here was one, and then there are two here. The split card textures is what she used here. So cool how she did that. That is currently out of inventory at the moment, so you can't buy this die set, but it should be back later in July. And then, so it opens this way, and she's stamped here. She used every stamp from the stamp set. Oh, that was her goal. And she even added some designer paper right here. That is from He's the Man. She used the deckled rectangles on the inside and just layered it up and says, it's your day. Yes, <laughs> Deb. Diane did a fabulous job with her card here. I love how she used the brushed metallic um, little dots and she put that in the middle of that tool. <laughs> All right, so that one's Diane's. This one, you guys. This is Anna Revenues. You're going to love it. She made a little birdhouse. And she also used those scalloped contour dies for the roof. So we talked about Mary's card back here using the scalloped contours. That was the biggest scalloped contour rectangle. Then what Anna did is she cut these into pieces and put them as the trim of the house. It was so cool. So this is the Song build, bird Builder Punch, and we just saw that on Deborah's card earlier from the customer swap, and it says, a little birdie told me, and then you can basically put whatever you want on the inside. You've got something to celebrate, and she stamped the little birds down here, and all this is is it's scoring it in the middle, but then it's scoring it here and scoring it here, and then you just have to fold this in like this, and now you've got this awesome little birdhouse. You could use this for gingerbread houses as well, but she used the timber embossing folder, to make it look like a little birdhouse. It is adorable, it's so cool, I love it. So colors Tahitian Tide um, for the birdie, Bermuda Bay, a Coastal Cabana, not maybe, not Coastal Cabana, wait. Crush Curry, oh, Pool Party, it's Pool Party, not Coastal Cabana. Crush Curry for the little beaky. She used some black, um, per so they're the pearls, they're pearls and she colored them black with a um, marker, um, yeah. So cool. So give it a whirl is where the heart comes from. Give it a whirl. Uh, and then all that dies for the fence is what she used for the fence. Awesome. Anna knocked it out of the ballpark. I <laughs> love it. All right. This one comes from, um, I believe it was Bonnie Lesperance. And she had here, um, Wild and Sweet was the stamp set she picked. Uh, scall so these are those scallop contour dies. So here we're talking about um, for the trim here was what was from the stitch rectangle or stitch from the scalp contour rectangle here and so she used some of the perfectly penciled designer series paper and then black and white very monochromatic look so um and then the inside she's got the <laughs> the red raccoon red panda <laughs> red panda so that was from sweet and wild and sweet stamp set very cool she added some pearls as well and she colored them black just like what anna did on this card so don't forget, you can color those pearls and those rhinestones, you guys. This one's from Na it's Naughty Nancy. Look at that. It even says it. Naughty Nancy. All right. So she had the tea cup set. So she used um, Starry Night and Highland Heather. Uh, wishing you a speedy recovery with a little teacup here. And on the inside, sending well wishes your way with a little Kleenex box. So perfect. Use a thick white base. And then that, that ribbon on here is such, it's so sparkly. It's pretty. So good job, Naughty Nancy. This was mine, you guys. I went with, I love this layout. It was actually, so I was working on designing for ink, paper, scissors for next month. And so 
this is your ink, paper, scissors card because it uses all of the a wash and beauty or true beauty products. <laughs> true beauty products. It sounds like beauty products. So this was the card. And so for the team though, I wanted to do it a slightly different. So I changed up the color theme. I went with the Blackberry Bliss base, but that's still um, true beauty. And then the paper is the host item. Design a daydream maybe is the name of that. And so, and then a little flower on the inside. This one is, um, I want to say Bonnie's too. She did, yep, because she was in both groups. So she went with the Starry Night and Parakeet Party, and she made it look like a bottle here where it says Sending Cheer on it, and then she filled it with the effervescent elements, added a little butterfly, and then she put that little Starry Night bow on here. And she, so it's the bottle punch, uh, the butterfly stamp comes from uh, Happy Hedgehogs, and Bottled Happiness is where that comes from, and it's the bottle punch. So pretty colors together, and she put a bottle right on the inside. Yes, Deb, everybody did great for this one. So this is another one from Anna Rebidou, and she, so this could be, it was annual catalog party, or at team spot party, and it could be carryover or new product. So some of these are carryover stamp sets. So that's what this one is, the Simply Succulent was a carryover, but I love how she did that background, is from the die. So you're not actually die cutting um, with that big die. Um, and then that's where the little label comes from, the succulent, soft succulent trim. And then she has iridescent rhinestones. She has, this is the, some of that brush strokes paper, and then some vellum back here. And I think that mint macaron is the color, uh, mixed with the white, so very cool. Nope, I lied, it's not mint macaron. Um, so she wrote mint macaron, but I really feel like it's soft succulent. <laughs> if I, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's because soft succulent is the ribbon. So, uh, so I think. And then on the inside, she's got a little guy on the corner, <laughs> working the corner. Yep, <laughs> that little flowers work in the corner. So this one was also I was working on. <laughs> you guys was working on. This is ink, paper, scissors. So I was working on these cards, and I loved the layout. So I didn't pick that stamp set though because I picked it for the other card. So I had to pick a different stamp set. So for my swap, I took that layout, but then I changed it up with Blackberry High Carla Lake, Blackberry Bliss, that Design a Daydream paper. But I used Art Gallery then for my flower and it fit on there perfectly. So very similar layout if you look at them. Like they look very similar, but they look very different. So <clears throat> and um, added some of those iridescent pearls to it. And then my inside has the flower on the bottom corner. So I can go like that. <laughs> so this one is from Cheryl Taylor. And she had, he's the man. He's all that. And then the cardstock is espresso, Cajun craze, berry vanilla. The ink was espresso. The DSP is from he's the man. Uh, banners, pick a punch for this little guy down here. And then the rustic metallic dots got put on, which are cool. And, oh, she used the little corner stamp. So there's a little corner stamp in that stamp set. And she framed out the corners with it. Yeah, very cool. Uh, this has got a Herbie Love Bug on it just for me, you guys. I have my Herbie Love Bug in the garage. So there's a little old classic cars on there. Getting there. Um, oh, Mitzi, you've never done a swap. So... Um, you could join my customer swap. It's pretty easy going. Uh, there are like there are guidelines, right? But they're pretty um, pretty easy to to follow. Um, what you should do if anybody's interested. So this is my team swap. So anybody on the Be Happy Stampers can get on my team swaps. I do one with every new catalog, um, and then I also host the customer swap, which is open to everybody basically that is in my community of stampers. And um, there's a Facebook group just for that. And uh, Mitzi, if you're not in the Facebook group already, we could make sure to get you added. Just send me a note and I can invite you or you can look for it and ask to be invited. Uh, this one's from Carissa Alberts. She used, I was so happy, that pearlescent paper carried over. She embossed it with that seashell embossing folder. She used some of the deckled rectangles. Oh man, these little embellishments are, I can't remember the name of them. I think that they're the in... I don't remember the name of them. They're in the new annual catalog though. <laughs> they come with like five colors and they're like little uh, rhinestones, but they're opaque. They're not crystally. Uh, they're definitely solid colored. 
I added some shells, some pool party ribbon. Very cool. Hi, Julie Hillsman. On the inside, we've got a shell on the bottom. So very cool, Carissa. Looking good here. All right, this one comes from Miss Jeannie Parker from Muskegon, Michigan. So she had the Waves Bundle, or da da da, Waves Bundle. Um, waves of Inspiration, I think is the name. Uh, so just a note, she has here, uh, some of the designer paper is actually from the Sun Prints. She pulled in the Essentials Baker's Twine, which is black and white. Has a very stellar up wave here in Coastal Cabana. And then this little guy goes like that and it opens up and says, your strength is an inspiration. And she's got the little pelican on there. And that's from Miss Jeannie Parker. Very nice, Jeannie. This one is from Naughty Nancy. She did a great job on this one too. Um, she made a little pocket card, you guys. And the stamp set is called Brood for You. And um, we did this for the last fun folds. We did a little pocket like this. So they're fun. Brood dies, time worm type embossing folder. So there's a little pocket here. He's uh, the man, or he's all that designer paper. And she went with espresso, crumb cake, basic white, basic black, and Cajun craze, if I didn't say that. And um, this is embossed with that time worn type. And what she did is she frayed the edges and made them look really worn and jagged, which is super cool. Nancy, I don't know if you're watching or not, but. I can't remember what you said, sandpaper or something else. She did just, just worn it off. So hi, Arliss. And she stell it up the beer. So you can definitely see that that is glittery. I don't know if you can see it. Oh man. But she glittered that up with Stella and then this little guy pops right in there. So very cool. Um, added some classic black matte dots. And then the, it's the, actually the ribbon is white. It's seam binding ribbon and she colored it black. So cool. So she must have used um, a black, did it black blends. So, all right, Kathy King, her first swap. She did such a fabulous job. She um, was, so I think she was more nervous than what she needed to be. Um, but I think more worried maybe. Um, hi, Andrea. Yes, you can always start over from the beginning. Um, so Kathy did a great job. She loves, loves, L-O-V-E loves the hues of happiness suite. Um, and so it's so awesome. She did a great job. You guys, she did a fun fold. Look at this. She knocked it out of the ballpark. And on the back here is where you can write a little love note back there. And she cut out all of her flowers. She used a little embossing folder in the back there. And um, you are wonderful in every way, friend, and just very bright and cheerful. So very cool. And she did a great job. Kathy, you didn't need to be worried. And now that you did it one time, now you don't have to be worried about it the next time. Very pretty. This one was also Ann Bellinger. So this is my only card I have with this stamp set. And um, Ann, I know you gave me your sheet in my computer. You emailed it to me. Um, what the name of the stamp set is. But, of course, I didn't print it out. I think it's called A Fish and a Wish. So let's just look here. I'm pretty sure... That's what, what it is. A fish and a wish. So if it's under A, yeah, a fish and a wish, page 70. I was just curious. I, this is, you're the first one that I've gotten a card using this stamp set. So it's down here and it comes with this punch actually. So very cool. Love it. Um, you used um, Bermuda Bay with, I'm thinking it's Starry Night right here. And the colors of ink look like Mm, old olive. Mm, a pale, I can't guess what the, this is. It's like I think it's pale papaya, but it looks a little different. And then the blue, I'm not certain. So Anne sent me her recipe card, but I, I never printed it off. So I can't, I can't remember everything. Painted texture is definitely the background. I love the linen thread here, how you made this little knot and it looks like a little lasso. It's so cool. Hi, Linda Castor coming in late. Um, so, oh yes, Andrea, you're right. A fish and a wish. And she even punched and put this little guy on the top. You know, it kind of looks like coral at second strength as well. So, Anne, I'm not sure if you're watching, but um, sorry, I don't remember the colors off the top of my head. And then we have one more that's gonna fall. So we're gonna go like that. One more comes from, I don't remember who's writing this is. It is, oh, Mary Bowman. Okay, very cool. So Nature's Prints, and um, it's the Nature's Prints bundle. Uh, she used that designer paper as well, Sun Prints. 
and she embossed the fern in white on the starry night. It's so cool. She used some of those little goldy flowers and she put a pearl right in the middle of it. Some brushed brass butterflies. You're on my mind. So here's the difference. We were talking about this in the Sunprints class. The difference between stamping in white and embossing in white. So here she stamped in white and then here she embossed in white. So there's a difference in how dark the white shows. And then the designer series paper comes from there as well. Uh, paper, starry sky, whisper white. Oh, it's for the ink, starry sky, whisper white. She brought in also the white embossing powder. And then she's got a little flower on the inside. Hi, Patsy Roberts. Hi, Naughty Nancy. Naughty Nancy, we just showed off your cards. Okay, so that would complete all of the swap cards that I have here that I currently <laughs> hadn't shown you. So we had the team swap party, which was two groups, and then I had the customer swap, and then I also had some leftovers. Hi, Lisa Nealon. Also had some leftovers from, um, I do swapping with uh, my like fellow demonstrators across the United States, and so that's where those came from. All right, so I don't know where we're at, 40 minutes. Okay, well, I haven't heard Tyler come home yet, so I'm good. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> for all of you that took the um, Texture Chic Memories and More class from me, <laughs> I'm gonna get working on that PDF tutorial. So, hi, Bonnie, Kelly, thanks for sharing, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, so you can watch for Kelly on Thursday. She already scheduled the Technique Thursday to go live at 7 a.m., so it should be out there first thing in the morning. And then I will see you guys Thursday night at 6 p.m. Central, and we're gonna do the making the 15 cards. So if you're doing that class with me, just know the first thing that I always do is I go through and get everybody set up for putting the cards together efficiently and successfully. Uh, so it's a matter of t that first, so when I start right at six, I think I have it at six. I might even have it at 5.30. I can't remember what I, I'd have to look back at the time. I will be looking back at the time. <laughs> so, um, cause it takes like three hours to do the memories and more class. So I can't remember if we put 5.30 or if we put six, but I'll be reaching out to you. We might just keep it at six cause that's the normal time that we usually do our lives on Thursdays. So, but regardless, we're first gonna go through, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes and we go through from start to finish putting everything in order, which is always, I think the most laborious part because once everything's in order, then it's really fast to just whip these cards together. So, um, oh, you're very welcome for sharing, Sue. Hi, Linda, they were great cards. Everybody did great. Stacy, thank you, and Holly. Oh, they, they, they had, it's so fun working on cards. It's challenging to use and have new products to use because with my team for the swaps, it has to be a featuring product out of the new catalog that the swap is featuring, and it cannot be anything retired. It has to be all brand new product or not retired product. So, um, yeah, so it's a little more challenging then because you got to get your order in and make sure it gets there in time and then design cards and then get them ready. So the team did really great, um, those who participated. So, hi, Karen Carstay. Whew, okay, we did it. So um, what's on the radar for tonight, you guys? It is officially date night. It's Tuesday, but Tyler and I, we've been together since Friday. So we've had the date longest dating weekend, I think. <laughs> it's been date weekend um, since Friday. And so I think what we're going to do is you can't pick ru rhubarb now because it's July. So apparently as of the 4th of July, you don't pick rhubarb. So we have rhubarb that we picked over the weekend and he wants to make rhubarb pies. And so that's on our docket for tonight is making rhubarb pies. Oh, you guys. Oh, I have to show you my mom's anniversary card too. I took a picture of it. Hi, Penny Powell. So I don't have it here with me but I'm gonna show you the card I made for my mom and dad for their anniversary. Let's see if I can find it without having like lots of, um, well, that's the bonfire, you guys. Tyler, is a, he likes bonfires, so this is out at my parents. He loves bonfires, so that's the bonfire he put together. Sorry, I have lots of family pictures. One moment, one moment. Look, these are all family pictures we took. Oh, so this is a sign that my mom, so Gina, my friend Gina Bulo was there. Let's just show you guys. There's a sign. I'm trying to get the whole picture of the sign. Gina and all the kidlings helped make this sign. So my parents got married. They put all the bows from my mom's gifts into a heart. And so this is what we made for my mom and dad. This is the only decoration that was up. That's all they really wanted. Um, they didn't want anything. Actually, this was a surprise. So all the kids, like 15 of us worked on putting that together. And that's the whole family picture. So I'm still looking for the card though, you guys. So one moment. Um, well, that was the cake. I told you guys I had to go get an ice cream cake. 
So this was the ice cream cake. Let's see, it's gonna have to go like that. So they put happy 50th wedding anniversary. So they did yellows and greens. <laughs> so, so that was the anniversary cake. And then the card, okay. So this is the card. So thank you to Cindy Runtree. She totally inspired me. After I was done with the live on Thursday night, she sent me a picture of a 50th anniversary card that she made, and it was very similar to this. And so I used the Parisian, I think it was the Parisian embossing folder, and then Bloomin' Love dies, and I did that in gold. And then on the inside, it has the numbers 50. And so I die cut the heart and the five and the zero out of the big gold piece that's in the back. And then the ribbon is current. It's that shimmery gold ribbon. The stamp set is called Number of Years. I absolutely love that stamp set. I will never get rid of it. <laughs> I have two sets of the dies actually because I think I loved it so much. But that was the card that I made for my mom and dad for their anniversary. So I don't think I took a picture of the inside. So all card pictures. And so, yeah, so we had a good time. Uh, I had to bring into the crafts into it. So a um, little homemade stuff. Um, thank you, Sue. I will let my mom know. And all of you guys, she hasn't gotten through all of the mail yet, but she's gotten some of the cards. Uh, some of you sent her birthday cards and anniversary cards. Um, her company showed up on Tuesday, so she said she hasn't opened the mail for since Wednesday. <laughs> so she said she has quite the pile to go through. So very cool. Um, I appreciate all of you that sent her a card, and I may owe somebody an address in case I can't remember who somebody. The, the weekend happened, and I really stayed off my phone a lot. So I know somebody else asked for the address, and I'll, I'll still get back to you to get it to you. Um, belated cards are always good cards too. So, all right, I am in the number of years set and dies. I love it. Yes. Karen, that is one of my all-time favorites, and I keep it in the front, that die set. I keep it in the front so I don't have to go looking for it all the time. So, woohoo. Okay, so if any, so I do have notes from Diane and Sue and Chris and Stacey Burns about possibilities for doing the Summer Creative Escape. I still would have about four spots left, I think. Um, oh, I will do that, Janet. Um, I did post on the Cards by Christine Facebook page, too, um, um, that... I would have, I'll get you the address. Maybe send me a note and I'll reply with it. Um, that the, the price of postage stamps goes up. I originally had put the seventh because I had somebody tell me that it was the seventh. So I trusted that. <laughs> and then you guys, people came back to me and said it was the 10th. And we looked up and yes, it is the 10th. So I updated the post to say the 10th. But just in case you guys need stamps, it's so crazy that they're updating on a Sunday, which is the 10th, not like on a weekday when they're actually open. But apparently by the 10th, you need to have all your stamps purchased if you want them for 58 cents versus 60 cents. I did a little math and I'm like, hmm, if I buy 500 stamps in a year, I was like, that's not a lot of savings. But, but you know, maybe if I bought hundreds of thousands, it would be a, a big enough savings. But who knows? At two cents is two cents. It's better than nothing, right? <laughs> to get them a little bit early. So, all right, you guys. That was a very long tip Tuesday for you. I hope in case you guys join late, make sure you catch the replay. It'll be available now after I hit the end button. And you guys have a great rest of your night. Lots of sunshine, love, and hugs to you. We'll see you on Thursday. Love you guys.